Uh, before we move to the vote on that amended motion, uh, Mayor Rees, would you like to respond to the debate? Um, I suppose so. Um, you, know, <laughs> it's the, I, you know, I started my day having quite a, you know, you know really um, in, get engaged conversation with national and international leaders on the future of cities and how we're going to tackle the complex challenges we face, meeting our social needs, our housing needs, decarbonise growth, protect nature. Um, and to be honest, the step down in integrity um, and dynamism is disheartening. Um, uh, there's, what, what, I, think, I think I won't go into the challenges we face because we've been through them um, already today. But look, you, taking, take an approach which is focused on stopping stuff Sounds great. It allows people to portray themselves as the revolutionaries taking on the system and standing up and all that. But the thing that is constantly missing, as I said, is there is a pressure. There is a huge pressure in the city, a social need pressure. And to, in, in the effort to protect space for nature is perfectly, you know, is very important. But you need more than one tool and saying, stop, build here, we're going to stand against this. I know that plays well on your leaflets and so forth. But at some point, you've got to say, where are you going to allow housing to be built to relieve that pressure? And we can point to developments um, that we've brought forward mm, over the last uh, five years that focused on brownfield sites in the middle of the city. Uh, some of you have entered the game of opposing uh, those developments. We even had one local campaign, one even local house and campaign group oppose house building on brownfield sites in Loch Lees. And to be honest, many people in those benches have just stood on the touchline. While well, we as a party have faced up to those difficult decisions in Bristol and talked about and led on the need to deliver homes on those brownfield sites that does relieve pressure on uh, land that is, of in, uh, you know, that is incredibly uh, sensitive. And the truth is there are no free options. What we do want to do as a group is have a, a fully informed view. There will be a, an environmental consequence to meeting the needs of our population. Uh, what we need to do is make sure we're fully informed of the price, uh, any actions we take, uh, what that price is, and then making sure that when we do develop Bristol, we're either looking at how we mitigate that in alternative places, but also how we build nature into the city's development. Our approach to the ecological emergency is not an anti-development approach. It cannot be. We cannot afford to have an anti-housing, anti-development uh, approach uh, to the city. What it is, is an approach that says we are going to commit land to nature, but sometimes the boundary between land for nature and land for housing and development is blurred. And what we need to do is build nature into the, the city design into, so Bucklock, for example, on Airport Road, that includes the restoration of the waterway and that whole ecological uh, pathway. We're looking at the, the waterway that comes from Avon Valley right out to the waterfront with the water, with the work uh, that, you know, that we'll do, you know, on the, on the waterfronts in, in the uh, city um, as well. Um, so I just, I just wish that we as a chamber would come to Bristol and rather than the posture, and everyone makes the claim now, you're doing party politics. So that's, that's, you know, we might as well all wear a T-shirt telling everyone else they're doing party politics. But at some point, we've got to talk about what we're for and not just what we're against. And when we do want to carry the slogan around, we have to enter into those difficult situations uh, where what we need to do comes with a cost and then looking at how we trade uh, tr and, and how we make decisions between unpalatable options. Any kind of political leadership that does not meet that bar is an absolute disservice uh, to the city and doesn't give people the opportunity in Bristol to enter into the, you know, the, 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 you know, the real grittiness of, of what we're dealing with and the challenges uh, that we're dealing with as a city. And it's inc incredibly uh, disappointing. Thank you.